Welcome back to another draft. Do, 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 do. This is another M19 draft here on magic slash internet dot the universe is a simulation dot com dot net. Courtesy of GeoCities. You guys remember GeoCities? That was good times. That was when the internet was innocent. Innocent and new. Look at all these flashing moving images I can put on here. Oh, man. Oh, we got a runic armosaur. Uh, not a nickel bolus, worth noting. Probably just worse than Horizon Scholar as a first pick. This should be double blue, I think. This guy being a single blue splashable gentleman is pretty impressive. I think I'm going to take this. 4-4 four, four floats. It costs one more mana than air elemental, but is easier to cast. And it scries, too. I'm going to take it. Oh, followed by Miscaller? Yes, please. No, just kidding. That's terrible. I think we can take the Sky Scanner and try to be the Artifact deck. I think it's stronger than Angel here. Uh, because it doesn't commit us to white. And also, I bet this Scholar comes back. I want to take Sky Scanner. I want to be the blue Artifact deck and have the OP blue Artifact deck so badly, but it never happens. Oh, Meteor Golem third pick? Hmm. So not only was the rare better than this, but there was also an uncommon better than this. Boy, that's impressive. Take it. Yeah, Angel's just, just as good as any other 3-3 flyer, though, most of the time. So, Dwindle is actually very, very good. I don't know if it's better than Surge Mare, but it's actually pretty good. I think it's close. I like Surge Mare a lot, as you guys might know. I'm a big Surge Mare fan. Casting Scholar after casting Clatter. Oh, I see what you're saying. I mean, it's a 4-4 four, four instead of a 3-4, right? Like, it's only cost one more mana. I don't think it's really that much much worse. I mean, you're getting extra power. I, I definitely don't think Surge Mare is a filler. Uh, we've actually gone over this. Kind Buds, how have you... What's going on, buddy? Are you high right now? Is that the problem? I'm going to take the removal because I think it's more limited in this archetype but no, divination is probably like the third card i would pick in that pack especially because you can just oh another dwindle all right we're just gonna be dwindling all day i guess <laughs> I, st I stay high okay well that's fair i'm gonna take the switcheroo because if we can get a bunch of sky scanners to ship over oh even or this gearsmith guardian which could be very very good Hmm. I'm going to take the Gearsmith Guardian because artifacts are more relevant than uh, than the Wind Mage. And I don't think we're going to actually have that many instants and sorceries to really pump that dude. You're surprised Divination wasn't the pick? Why? That's weird. When has, any, when has generic draw two ever been the case over a solid removal spell? That's interesting. I want to take the Spark Tongue Dragon because we have no reason not to be red here. Actually, Rex Sage is pretty good, but we I feel like we don't have great luck with the uh the blue green deck. I feel like we have better duck better luck with any other color, so I'm gonna just take the dragon here. And I'll take invoke. In case we end up being white. In case we just open the aerial engineers. More like garbage I, <laughs> I think Divination is fine, but I don't think it's better than Dwindle or Surge Mare in any, in any universe. Like, Surge Mare is an 05 when you need an 05, which blocks most things in the format, including the 4-5-5 uh, the five, five mana guy, which is great. Um, it's also when you don't need a guy... When you don't need an 05, it can be a 4 1 or a 2 3 attacker that loots. It's just very, very efficient. I just want to have. I, I want to stop having the, the Surge Mare is not good conversation because I think the people who think Surge Mare isn't good have not played Surge Mare. 
That is my estimation. Uh, sure Strike's actually fine. If we're red. It's also a set without a lot of uh, a lot of filtering, a lot of card filtering, and Surge Mare does that well as well. Especially if you make it unblockable or give it flying or, you know, there's tons of ways to pump up a Surge Mare. I hope people do hate it and it comes back. That's my hope, but I think we've passed that point, so. Hold on a second, I gotta blow my nose for a second. Okay, I think we're good. Um. I just don't care about either of these. I'll take the Hostile Minotaur, because we don't have a four drop yet. Yeah, none of these cards are great. I'm going to take you in case we are white. Sure. Wow, the blue cards really dried up there, didn't they? Wow, another missed caller. Incredible. <laughs> That's incredible. I guess we just take the Snapping Drake here. I don't want another Switcheroo in this deck because you don't really have many things that were Switcherooing. I don't think Shock is better than Snapping Drake, especially if we're not 100% red. And I think Dragon's Egg is fine, but uh, I guess we're just taking the Snapping Drake here. Uh, blue being the best color in the set has not been my impression. Gigantosaur and Declare Dominance, my favorite. Boy, this packet, this is green stacked, boy. I think it's Aviation Pioneer to keep our uh, our artifact dream alive. I don't think we really have any Salvager targets yet. Salvager. We have Switcheroo, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, we're just going to take the three drop. Have you opened any Nikki B's yet? Of course not. Of course not. Also, if we do go red, blue, it's very easy to splash the Nikki B that will open in pack four. Frank, moving to the TV in my living room. Don't move. All right, I'll stay like this. I opened one Karn, and it was in out of 40, 60, 62 drafts or something like that. It was not reasonable. We're going to take the Enigma Drake. And then we're just going to hope we get enough uh, instants and sorceries to make it really worth it. This late shock is pretty good. I like the Gargoyle Sentinel a lot. Might just want the shock here. Yeah, I don't. The only reason I don't like Gargoyle is just it's a lot of mana investment. Ah, uh, I don't hate Instigator, and also I don't know if I hate Double Cast either. Double Shock for three mana. That's pretty much it, though. That's not that exciting. It's probably just Instigator here. At the beginning of each end step, if it attacked or blocked, its owner shuffles it. No, I totally didn't reschedule my desk appointment. Oh my god, I was gonna call today again, and I totally forgot. Jeez, I'm terrible. Aerial Engineer, that's what we always wanted. I think it's actually a second Spark Tongue Dragon over the other Shock, right? I think it might actually be Shock here. So you're actually in the 8th spot, and you're like over here. It could also be Snapping Drake.
Yeah, I like Shock better than 8 mana Dragon, because I never feel good about playing that guy on less than 8 mana, so... Ooh, I like a Scholar. Hopefully we can get some more. Ooh, I like a Disperse. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. This deck is starting to come together. I'm going to take all the Mist Callers, I guess. <laughs> Slowly building my modern collection here. Eh, Shore Strike is fine. Water Sports Drew, welcome back, buddy. Long time no see, sir. The pig is definitely Mother of Onions. It's never Mother of Onions, Drew. Never. That was a late... I didn't see a Vine Mare. Did I miss a Vine Mare? Can someone inform me if I missed a Vine Mare? I feel like... Uh, I feel like that's incorrect. Oh, it was the Disperse pick and I just saw Disperse and I was like, oh, thank goodness. That's fine. Two more picks out of this pack. Oh, wow. That should not still be in the pack. That's... I'm tempted to splash that if I can get the lands for it. Seriously, this is the third Palladium Wars I've opened. Come on, dude. That's unbelievable. Yeah, that's really frustrating. I think it's just Sentinel here. Actually, it's probably Aviation Pioneer. I like Aviation Pioneer better. I don't want to take a third dwindle. <laughs> That's definitely not the pick. Yeah, it's definitely Aviation Pioneer because then we can pick up Scholars a little bit, a little bit easier. Uh, opening that guy is frustrating because we've already uh, opened him twice. And he's worth 67 cents, where Nicol Bolas is worth about 30 tickets. So uh, it's a matter of opening three of the same Elder Dragon one time. Um, they're all worth actually 42 cents, my bad. And Nicol Bolas is worth 20. So uh, to open the same Elder Dragon that's worth 40 cents three times and not open the one that's worth $20 zero times, eh, it's just a little frustrating. I actually like splashing the Psychic Symbiont here. It's definitely worth splashing, but I like Dragon Egg, but I think it's actually the Symbiont. I don't think I care about missing it. Oh, Lightning Strike? Wow. I also like Sky Scanner a lot, but I think it's got to be Lightning Strike here. And there's actually a couple cards in this pack that I wouldn't mind coming back. Brute, Divination, Salvager, Sky Scanner, or Totally Lost. I would probably consider playing all of those, but especially with Enigma Drake, we're taking this. Oh boy, Volcanic Dragon. Oh, that's just fantastic. That's a game winner right there. Uh, I'll take another Scholar, especially with another Aviation Pioneer. We can put the Aerial Engineer in the sideboard because obvious reasons. We can put this guy in the sideboard just in case. Gutter Snipe? Are we a Gutter Snipe deck? Shock, Shock, Lightning Strike, Sure Strike. I don't care about Hostile Minotaur, I'll be honest. I think it might be Gutter Snipe, and we can actually put the Minotaur in the sideboard because that's pretty garbage too. Um, This card is definitely playable. I think I like Rogue's Gloves better though, especially with, with the Flyers that we have. Even on a Sky Scanner, it's great. Just draw extra cards. Yeah, we're going to take the gloves. That seems good. Oh, skilled animator. That guy seems great. Pioneer, Pioneer, Sky Scanner. We don't have a ton of targets. I think I'd just rather have the Omen Speaker. Animator's great, but we actually have three targets for it, which is pretty terrible. I, I'm not really 
comfortable with only having three targets for an animator. I do, however, like the two drop. I'm not sure what we take out for it is the problem. We'll take this gift. People don't need to be having late gifts like that. You don't need a late gift. Um, we have 14 creatures. I could definitely see playing the Omen Speaker. Yeah, we we I counted the tokens. Sky Scanner and the two Aviation Pioneers. Like, I don't want to turn a Rogue's Loves or this guy into a 5-5 five because five, this guy's already a 5-5. Five five. I... Like, we have Aviation Pioneer, Aviation Pioneer, and Sky Scanner that are actually relevant targets for, um, for Skilled Animator. I mean, skilled animator turning Meteor Golem into a 5-5 five, five from a 2-2, two, two, a 3-3 three, three is not super great on turn 8. And uh, this guy's already going to be a 5-5. Five, five, so these guys are not relevant targets. So I guess we have 4 with Rogue's Loves, but... Meh. This is 25 cards. What are we cutting here? Probably a totally lost. I think we just play... The Pioneer Tokens are... I literally just said that. How many times do I have to say that? Yes, I know. We have one, two, three. Three targets. Why is this... What's the, what's the problem here? These are our targets. <coughs> this is not really a target on turn eight. This is not a target because it's already a 5-5. Five, five. And this I don't really want to change into a 5-5. Five, five. We could, but it's... So we have four targets. That still does not seem like great odds. Streaming, talking, chatting, reading, streaming, talking, chat. We're having a good time. We're having a good time. All right. I'm actually just going to play uh, 41 here because cause YOLO. Uh, is it five spells? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, six is fine. I mean, I'd still rather have the extra damage from Gutter Snipe. It's just a just a creature. It's just a fine creature. I mean, if we if we trigger Gutter Snipe twice, it's still four damage, which is a lot when we're trying to volcanic dragon them out of their life. Plus, there's only like yeah, there's only one Enigma Drake, so I'm like, okay, it's an O four. Like if I play two spells, then it's a two four flyer for three mana. Even a one four flyer for three mana is just fine. So, I mean, like, it doesn't take a lot to make that dude great. Uh, if I was going to play anything, I would just play Totally Lost instead of Crash Through. And we're already trying to cut cards, so I don't know why we'd play an extra card. I also think we want... Yeah, like, none of our blue costs two blue, but we do have two double blue, double, double red spells, one of which actually needs... Uh, three red so we're actually going to play one extra red and this is when magic online crashes oh we did it all right nailed it Yeah, sometimes people get weird weird ideas in their head. Like, if you're not utilizing a, a specific card to its absolute maximum capacity, like, it's not worth it. They don't consider it worth it. So, like, unless Enigma Drake's going to be, like, a 5-4 flyer on turn 3, like, you're like, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's good enough. No, I mean, it's just fine. If you have one or two in, in instants or sorcerers in your graveyard, it's totally fine. Uh, this hand's fine. This will do. So ideally we're going to draw land, sky scanner, land, scholar. Okay, that'll do. 
As long as we get that blue mana. I need that blue mana money. Okay, well, that's not it. Boots and cats and boots and cats and. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Don't do it. Oh, they always hit, don't they? Kill it. <laughs> if it bleeds, we can kill it. We could have sure struck that guy, too, but whatever. Where are my where are my lands at? No one expects the sure strike. Oh, I guess they did. You got it. Man, I wish sure strike untapped the creature too. Untap a guy. Do a thing. No, oh, they're just doing better than us right now. That's really sad. <clears throat> boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and so we're just gonna pioneer here because I want the the floaty boy for the scholar next turn which should put us in land business I'll just take four here oh actually I didn't see this oh I would have double blocked one of these guys for sure. Oh, good. How nice. Well, pretty sure that's unbeatable for us. I would have 100% blocked, but like, oh god, it's so subtle. Like, why is it such a. I could have swore. I feel like they've changed it. Like, it didn't used to be that subtle. I mean, this is where they just go like, Spark Tongue Dragon make make a six six and a is it five five or six six five five? Yep, no, that's that's nice. Really? Interesting. You don't put on the trampling guy? Intriguing. Yep. Could have prevented two last turn and two this turn. Yeah, this game hath ended. Our deck looks great, just not right now. Oh, this has pump ability. All right, we're done. I actually didn't know that. There's like so much text on here. Flying, whenever it's on. Why does it have fire breathing too? That's weird. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I don't even care about your stupid fire breathing idiot. Yeah, we're just going to submit. I think our deck's fine. Yeah, this hand's fine. I don't think Dwindle is. I don't think Dwindle is worse than it looks at all. I think it's just fine. I think it looks exactly like it like, like it should. Boots and cats and boots and cats and. Well, obviously it's worse than Luminous Bonds, but all blue enchantment removal is going to be worse than the white enchantment removal for the same cost. A thousand percent of the time. Okay. Well. Deal. <laughs> okay. Clean up the mess. Oh, I see. You just have multiples. Omen Speaker. Aviation Gentleman. Well, we're just going to play this guy. I'm not going to hold out to get one of those four artifacts that we mentioned earlier. Do we just play that? It seems bad. It is damage, though. Oh, 
Uh, am I going to play some Legacy or Vintage later in the week? I don't think so. Those don't really fit into my... I love Vintage, don't get me wrong. But I don't really fit them into my schedule frequently. I don't actually know what to do here. Do we wait three more turns? I think we can just pass here. I don't feel good playing Spark Tunnel. It's just a 3-3 three, three for 5. I don't even think it should cost 5. I think it should just cost 8. Yep, that card's obnoxious. Boots and cats and boots and cats. Boots and cats. Well, they at least... They still gain two when they attack, which is kind of funny. Yep. That's what we were afraid of. <laughs> sure. The old fetid creeper. The old zero four. All right, we're just gonna keep up mana for uh, one, two, three, four, five. So if we hit a red, we can actually play Spark Tongue and kill their havoc devil. I don't care about that. Get him! I'm gonna wreck it. Let's see what you can hit. Mountain one time. I'll put both of these on top. And we'll play Drake. And now I feel like we're actually okay. However, they are gaining a lot of life. Average value is not what we're looking for here, unfortunately. Okay. Yes, sir. Kill what's good here. What's even good? I think we just want to get rid of this thing. So I can start... Like, I don't care about this guy, because we can block it. Yeah, whatever. Get rid of this idiot. I don't even feel like attacking is profitable for us here. We attack for one, they gain two on the crackback, and we can't really even stop that. I guess we could now, because we have the dragon, but... So one damage is not where we want to really. Now we have Snapping Dragon though, so we're going to attack with you. <clears throat> I have a background in writing. Have you ever tried to talk about writing? I actually have. Um, and honestly, the thought, the time, the amount of time it would take has always has always been daunting to me. I always felt like that would take a really long time. Sure. How nice. Shock or lightning strike. It's not bad. Where were you last turn? Bouncing that spark tongue dragon would have been insane. I also don't hate bouncing the sky scanner. <clears throat> Dwindle does kill the creature for block. So if they block, we can actually bounce the Dwindle. Uh, but then we trade, I guess. So that's not great. Oh, with a trigger on the stack, though, we could bounce it. Oh, that's nice. And it would also pump our Enigma Drake. So that's cool. I don't think we're doing anything here. We're just going to let them gain there, too. <laughs> Big fan, but... <laughs> Gas. 
All right, now we're getting somewhere. What are, their, what are their three cards? What three cards do they have here? Whatever. We're not even attacking. Three Karns? No. Never. Volcanic Dragon. Oh, that's a good one. One, two, three, four, five, six. This dude. Yes, both on top. Oh my god, that's so good. I think we just won this game. Yeah, next time we're going to be a little more aggressive with these attacks. Wow, Disperse, Shock, Shock is a million damage with a Gutter Snipe. Huh. So we're going to do one of these jobbies. Block, block. Bounce our guy. Deal you two. Kill your guy. Scholar again. Keep the shock on top. Put the island in the pooper. Deal you five, a million. <clears throat> hmm. Here comes the heroic reinforcements. Okay, that guy's obnoxious. Target creature can't block this turn. You can't actually activate it, so that's good. Can we just kill you with infinite shocks here? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Yeah, we can do that. Four, five, six. Get all them floats in there. All right. <clears throat> That's pretty good. This is how the deck does things. Also, creatures getting negative 2, negative 0 could be good when they're going so wide. That's interesting. And it cycles itself at the very worst. Might be better than one of the dwindles. Yeah, I like that. <coughs> this is weird. This first time I've, I'm, I feel like I'm playing uncomfortable chill. But negative 2, negative 0 is pretty reasonable. All right, this hand is actually fine. Any two lands, I'm around the draw. Okay, let's do it. Mountain in the first two cards would be great. Like I said, mountain in the first two cards would be great. Don't be playing things. Okay, mountain in the first three cards would also be fine. Two red cards is fine, but I, you know, being able to play Magic the Gathering against my opponent is also preferable. Like, it's basically a blue fog a lot of times, I feel like. Oh, look. Fashionably to the party, I see. <clears throat> yeah, that's fine. Not great, but fine. Hmm. I see. Well, if that was a land, we'd be in good shape. Now they're just going to tap something down. I can play one thing. I don't think it's Drake. I think it's probably Instigator here. So they tap down the one, two. We triple block the stag. Feels bad. Then Pioneer is good against their other stuff, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how magic works, man. Magic is a hard game. <clears throat> um... I guess we could also just take three. Yeah, it's fine. If that's your if that's your attack, I don't really 
any combat trick also just blows us the hell out. Which is pretty miserable. We also keep up uncomfortable chill and shock here, which is pretty strong. I'd rather just draw the card. I think the further we get into our deck, the better. No attacks. I feel like Uncomfortable Chill is probably going to be a blowout at some point. Plus, I do want to get Scholar down before we lose all of our... Um, yeah, alright, now we're at a point where like they don't feel comfortable attacking, which is good. I think we just want this gutter snipe out to start dealing the damage. Yeah, I'm down with that. <clears throat> I don't think we're I think we have a turn at least before things start getting hairy. And if we hit a land, we can go Drake and keep up uh, uncomfortable chill and shock, which is nice. This art is very strange. Oh, light shock shock incoming. Is it the three two or is it the two two that does things? Luminous bonds. Okay. That's fine. This is an aggressive attack, isn't it? Tapping the one one token. Okay. Block you. I mean, we know you have tricks here, so. Actually, you can't have Trumpet Blast, right? So. Interesting. Or you can't, not, not a Trumpet Blast, the, uh, the other one. The, the one that, yeah, this is actually just fine. I think I actually just want to shock this guy to keep my guy alive. Yeah, this actually seems great for us. That would have been a good uncomfortable chill turn. Uh, now we're just playing... Actually... A Nimbus Drake keeping up uncomfortable chill seems pretty unbeatable when they have one card and a stag in hand. And then, like, we just have six drops on deck, which is pretty good. That did not seem like an ideal attack. I agree with you. Sure. The first strike is still pretty problematic. I'm just going to block with this token if they let me. <clears throat> They, they did not. Um, well. We make it a 3-3, three, three, and then this guy dies. They just deal 3 to this guy. Oh, I guess we can just block with Drake, though. Yeah, let's do that. It's uncomfortable chill here, and we'll just block with the Drake. Oh, wait, if we hit a land, that's really good. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, well. I feel like the game just ended right there. Oh, all right. <laughs> Horizon Scholar Volcanic Dragon in hand. Uh, seems good. All right. Drake is a... Uh, not Drake, but uh, Meteor Golem is a hell of a card. Uncomfortable Chill surprisingly did some work there. And their deck seemed great, actually. I, I, I didn't feel like we were uh, undermatched there. It was 113 here in Vegas yesterday. I think I got third degree burns. <laughs> wow. That's not okay. 113 is not a reasonable temperature. Hmm. This hand is great, though. Turn four equip gloves on to the 1-1 one, one flyer. 
Those are the second best part of the body's locomotives. <laughs> oh, Wallowdale, we have a good time. It is a dry heat, that's true. I remember when I was in Vegas for GP Vegas, and uh, my nose, I was like, wow, my nose has never been this dry before. I'm definitely used to the the humidity of Florida in that in that regard. I feel like we're I feel like double dwindle against the green deck is pretty good. I don't care about any of these Highland games. Oh wow, that was a good draw. Boop. They're going to kill this in response. Oh, wow. The, the value is so real right now. <clears throat> shock for... So we traded a Highland game and a Shock for this Aviation Pioneer. Deal. The best deal. We got the best deals. I'll, I'll block. Let's do it again. Keep them coming. Buzz buzz. Yeah, I think because I've lived in Florida my whole life, like there is definitely a, a high humidity here. But I mean, once I leave, I'm always like, oh God, it's so dry. I'm My skin is cracking. My nose is bleeding. Like it's just so dry. Oh, a fire elemental. Oh, let's draw a card. I like drawing cards. Dwindle's on deck up in here. Okay. Well, we're going to dwindle you. And probably just play gutter snipe here. Because we can block this guy. Moist people problems. <laughs> That's what I always say. I'm actually probably just going to trade here. This is not a, a hand where Gutter Snipe is specifically going to shine. And uh, that's a 4-2, so. I feel like this Sky Scanner is really going to do some solid solid work here. Okay, well, that's good, too. We're probably just going to play Drake and Dwindle here. But let's draw a card first and see what happens. I feel like this gro this gloves is gonna really take over the game for us, which is nice. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. This is just better, I think. So we're gonna do that, especially because we have the mana to activate this guy. You can have the one one. I, I don't dislike Arena because it's like Hearthstone. I dislike Arena because it's like a it's like a worse Hearthstone. You're trying to you're trying to make magic into a Hearthstone client, but magic is an inherently more complicated game than Hearthstone, so it's like well it's hard to do. Uh before you do anything. Target creature can't block this turn. Was this four mana? One, two, three, four. Let's keep up a second red, huh? Are you just going to block with my guy? Because that would be funny. This guy's got trample, though. Bro, I don't even care about your... All right. Well, that's weird because it's got trample. So that doesn't do what you wanted it to do, I don't think. The idea here is to block with Scholar, so I'd rather play that than Drake. Did you ever try Eternal? No, because I just have too many card games to concentrate. I'd really like to play more Elder Scrolls Legends as well. Yep. All right, so now we're going to have to start putting our foot down here. Yeah. This is... Yeah, we're just going to hold this guy back now. So 
So what do we have? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can go five. Yeah, let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. Gearsmith Guardian. And we'll play Snapper. <clears throat> Better on the mana. Declare Dominance. No. Okay, that's good. Okay. Oh, you have no cards. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. You have no profitable attacks either. All right, we are doing... Doing it. I'm going to kill this before they can make a dragon, which is pretty sweet. So we're just going to go with floaters here. Draw a land so they can keep up Sure Strike and Meteor Golem. Did it? I guess we could have done that anyway. Kill this guy. Probably just play Enigma Drake here, actually, now that we, now that we can. What's been your favorite color so far in M19? Ah, uh, I don't actually know. All right, the game just ended. In case you guys didn't know, we did good. They got a bunch of big dumb, big dumb green idiots. I wonder if uncomfortable chill. Actually, totally lost is probably pretty good here because they might have declare dominance. Just because I'm ter terrified of it. Um, I don't think... Hmm. Switcheroo was obviously fantastic there. I kind of want to just save the Disperse in case they get the Declare Dominance. Uh, yeah, Goblin Motivator is insane. We just don't have a Goblin Motivator deck here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to submit like this. I think we're fine. We didn't see the dominance. If we do, we'll bring in the uh, totally totes lost. Well, this hand is great if we can hit one blue source. I'm going to keep it because of that. We also have a shock. Like, it's two drop, three drop, four drop. Like, we have a ton of action. All we need is literally one land, preferably a blue, because that's what's going to give us the... That's not it. No. Not like this. Oh, yeah, I knew you were, Everx. I was just saying because we have two in the deck, so... Oh, wait, did they miss a land drop too? Oh, my God. Oh, did they mulligan to, like, infinite? Oh, they went to six. That's fine. Um, I'm going to bottom this, sadly, and just put you on top. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right. That's fine. All right. We've got that artifact now. Scholar is live. Wow, they just hit all the lands. God, some people... Some guys have all the luck. I'll block. Land. No land? That's basically a land, I guess. If we hit a mountain, it's so good. We hit a we hit a four drop. I'm pretty sure we can actually safely block with one three one two on this guy and just trade for the one three. And if at worst case scenario, like they waste a pump spell on these two guys, and that's just fine. Sure. <laughs> that's fine. <clears throat> Ideally, we draw mountains. So we can go gutter snipe, gutter snipe shock. What's going on? Let the damage resolve. We're doing good.
What's going on here? I don't know what the problem is. Are you married? No, I'm not married and I have no children. Wanna? Wanna? Do I want to get married and have children right now? Okay. I don't know what's going on here. You just let the damage resolve and then I lose my omen speaker. This is basically the same as if they literally shock this and then I just chose to block here. It's not a huge deal. That's also fine. Everything is fine. Mountain. That's all we want is a mountain. That's not a mountain. It's like the least mountain card you could have given me. I don't even know why you're like this. Daddy just wants a mountain. Why are you the way that you are? Can you explain it to me? You gonna kill this guy too? <laughs> Jesus. All right, land. Just give me the stupid land. Shock? Another shock? I'm getting angry, guys. I apologize. I'm not gonna get rid of this guy because we have Scholar and Scholar's really gonna pull us ahead, but boy, if I could get one more land here. Did I refer to myself as daddy? That's awkward, and it's probably it probably has to do with all the uh, do you want to get married and have kids talk. I don't know what these holdups are. What are we waiting for here? All right, we figured it out. Oh, old an old timey havoc demon. Well, that's a thing, isn't it? How about a land? Oh, about time. Fashionably late to the land party, it seems. All right, well, we're just gonna play scholar here. Draw the card. Hope we don't die, and then next turn we can do. Now we're going to just block block because we don't actually care about the artifact anymore. We just wanted to hit the extra card. <clears throat> and of course you're going to have a reason to... Yep. Welp. We're not dead yet. Put that on you. <clears throat> See what you got. Oh, they're on top deck mode? I think we actually win this game. Isn't that crazy? I'm actually probably going to shock this guy because it makes our Drake a lot better and I don't want to go to four here. And they don't seem to have anything. This guy for blocks, followed by this guy for, for beats. Blocks and blocks and beats and blocks and beats and blocks and beats. If we hit land, 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 we can go land, 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 which is pretty good. That guy I don't care about. Rabbit bite? Plummet. All things considered, that's... One of the more reasonable things you could plummet. And you're still in top deck mode where we have a stacked hand if we can hit lands. I will 1000% block this guy. and a, Even if you have titanic growth, I don't care. That was a good trade. I'm okay with it. Colossal Dreadmaw off the top. Another Havoc Demon. All right. So now we can just put land, land back if we get it. Oh, 
Yeah, it's pretty hard to deal with. We're just going to attack with this guy, and I'll block with the Horizon Scholar just to not take the damage. I, I don't know if that's better. It's probably worse, but... I'm not going to, like... If they pump this guy, if they have Titanic Growth, it's going to deal 9. No, it's going to deal 8. And if we can block 4, we go to 1. Which is, as you can imagine, safer. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats. All right. <clears throat> I think we're just holding this dragon now because... I don't... Actually, maybe we just do the, we just do the damage to the face, right? All right, block. Get rid of that guy. So... They have no cards. We play this guy, we just deal the damage to the face. Yeah, let's do that. Because this is lethal on board. <clears throat> so if they don't draw a creature, then we're then just dead. <clears throat> yep, that's a dude. And S Drake wouldn't have done anything for that, so... Oh, we could have just dispersed and killed them. <laughs> wow. Oh, we're playing too cautiously. All right, so I'll just give him an extra turn. And eh, it doesn't matter. No one gets to see. Shh, nothing happened. Shh, it's okay. It's totally fine. Good times. Boots and cats and boots and cats. Nope, not going to keep this hand. Yep, this hand is reasonable. I want to put you on the bottom even though I do want you. I just want lands more. I hope you understand. I really wanted him to rip... That's messed up, dude. I can understand thinking it'd be funny if you ripped rip Lava Axe, but then, like, to really want them to, Walladil? Come on. Come on. Oh, actually, you didn't say to punish me. You said to punish the Mist. That's cool. That makes sense. I could see why you want to punish the Mist. You trade Vanguard for either one of these cards. That's the question. Mm, seems like no. Well, land would be great here, but I guess we're just going to settle for a snipe. Boots and cats and boots and cats. Ba -ba -ba boots and cats. Uh, we're not blocking because we have Scholar of... Scholar of love, scholar of life. Land. <laughs> oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy, huh? Let's get in there with that guy. Missed two land drops so far. Wow. Aggressive. B. Aggressive. B. E. Aggressive. That's a good card. Welp.
Okay. Well, guess you're getting in there for six. That doesn't feel right. Interesting. Block you. Block you. Ba both on top. Both on the top. Pretty sure we're just going to lose to this. Actually, we have these two next turn, which is nice. Oh, I guess we don't. Never mind. Well, that's unfortunate, because then they just equip, and we're dead on board. Cool. Maybe they don't. Maybe they maybe they don't do it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I see. It's taking a different course of action. Okay, well. Seems good. I don't think any of these other cards are better than what we have. I'm just gonna submit. I will play first. Man, we've gotten a surprisingly small number of subs today. I think we might have actually... Uh, I'll keep this hand because the gloves and the aviator. Any any blue source is just great. Just great. You did it. Yeah, you can sub as many times as you want. I, I won't I won't I won't oppose. Yeah, and the right decks gloves is great. Like in a deck like this where you just you're sure to make a one one flyer or have just regular flyers. It's just nice to have some uh Some extra reach. And drawing an extra card every turn is pretty good. Who just timed out Everix? That's weird. Yep. It was like a one second timeout. That's pretty funny. What did you say? Hmm. That's yeah, fine. I'll take two. Really? Interesting. Gas. Shock? Dang, double scholar. Two scholars. I said the gloves seem Yeah, I don't see a problem with that, though. That's weird. Sure. How nice. Really? I guess I'll take... F this is always a... Mm, yeah. Sure. Put you on top and we can bottom the other dude. This is where they have luminous bonds in hand for sure. Ultimix Joe, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I'll play Luminous Bonds on your Scholar. I always have it. I just want you to be aware that I've always had it for all time. It was always in my hand. I just waited. 
until you played a creature that I did not want you to have, and then I played it on that creature. Actually, maybe they don't have it. Oh, do they just have a bunch of dirtily dirtles? Oh, no attacks. The value. So we got six mana. We got five mana. We could put this over here and play Snapper, and if we draw a land. Yeah, I'm game for that. And if we want to draw land, we can still play Pioneer and um, Shock. Not a land. That's actually probably better than Pioneer. I'm game. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's fine. It's obnoxious, but reasonable. I'm going to take two here. We lose these two guys, and I don't think we care about that. And Vigilance is a heck of a drug. We can go, we could play both of these, which is just fine. One, two, three, four. Play Scholar, draw. Nope, that's not it. Play Omen Speaker. Oh, we could actually play Omen Speaker first to try to hit a land. Um, but if we did that, the only, the only reason we want land is because we want to play Pioneer over Omen Speaker. And I don't think we really care about that. Uh, I think we'll just keep the Sure Strike on top. If we care about that, I don't know if we do. Yeah, we actually kind of do. Because if they want to double lock this guy next turn, that's pretty good for us. They're probably just going to Luminous Bonds it, though. I feel like their deck is very good. It's, just a, it's a weird feeling you get when you're like, well, I think your deck is better than mine. Wow. That's better than Luminous Bonds, I guess. All right. Do you really have Inspired Charge? Come on, dude. Whatever. That's so stupid. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Sorry to end on that miserable note. Uh, that was unfortunate because our deck seemed great. And, uh, yeah, their deck seemed better. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate the support. If you guys want to check me out on Patreon or on Twitch, you can find both those links below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it.